What's good, y'all? It's Solution back at it with another mental gym video in which I give mental exercises you can use to become extremely successful and accomplish all the goals that you are after. So let's get right into it. So today I want to talk about arguing and why, for the most part, arguing is actually a waste of your time. And so the definition I came up with for arguing in the context of achieving your goals is wasting words and time on people who don't help you achieve your goals. So probably by now, a lot of us have experienced arguments or where we argue with people. And I'm not talking about unserious arguments like, you know, what's your favorite food? Or I like this TV show more than this one. No, 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 no. I'm talking about serious like arguments where you're actually arguing with somebody else and you're having a back and forth. For the most part, as a guy who's on my channel because you probably want to become extremely successful and achieve all your goals, it is a waste of your time. There's no point in you arguing with somebody else if they cannot help you achieve your goals. Because think about the outcomes of arguments for the most part. I'm talking about serious arguments. Think about the outcome. You feel the satisfaction of winning an argument. It's an ego boost. But why would you want to boost your ego in something that is not helping you achieve your goals? If achieving your goals is what you are after, and if, if that's what matters most to you, because if this is not what matters most in you, most to you, then why are you even watching this video? You know what I'm saying? So you want to make sure you are doing things that are serving you and having serious arguments with people who are not helping you achieve your goals is not serving you. And that's where we get into the mental exercise for today to make sure you're not doing that, right? So the first part of this is identify, right? So what do I mean by identify? So basically, there's two routes to this. The one route is obviously people who don't help you achieve your goals. So first you want to ask yourself, whenever you're discussing or you're socially around people, do these people help me achieve my goals? So do they help me achieve my goals? goals so if the answer to this is no no then it's don't argue like key thing here then do not argue so why am i saying this well think about it guys as you grow and want to become more successful your beliefs and your perspectives on things is going to change you're not going to be the same person you were a year ago as someone who wants to become extremely successful and achieve your goals. You are going to change guaranteed. And if you're not changing, that's that's a problem. You, <laughs> anyway, so you need to be changing. And the, that means the way you're going to see things is going to change. And the thing is, just because you want to become extremely successful and achieve your goals does not mean the people around you also want to do the same thing. So they are going to stay the same. So you are going to notice as you grow, you're going to get into more potential arguments with these people because you see things differently than other people. You might not have a victim mentality anymore, while other people will have their victim mentality and want to keep their victim mentality, right? And because of that, you are going to butt heads with them. But you should, you should just avoid the button heads altogether because it's not worth your time. Because even if you make more sense, even if what you were saying is more valuable, if they don't agree and they don't want to change, they're just going to keep arguing with you. And you're just going to go in circles and you're going to waste words and time. And a big thing on my channel is I don't want you guys to waste time. There is no point in you guys wasting time. Like it's literally your most valuable resource. So do not, well, one of your most valuable resources. So do not waste it. Okay, cool. So essentially, another important thing is, is that when you argue with people who are not helping you achieve your goals, they can accidentally give you beliefs and mindsets that do not serve you because who you are around is going to affect your ability to become successful. Because if you are, you just like they always say that statement, like if you show me your five friends then I know who you are, right? You are affected by the environment that you're around because you have discussions with these people and you have similar beliefs or it leads to you having similar beliefs. And I don't want that to be the case for you. I want you guys to be hitting your maximum potential so you can achieve all the goals that you are after, right? So what this means is you want to make sure if you are going to argue, and I mean serious argument, you only want to do this with people who can help you achieve your goals. And that is your value circle, right? 
So what is your value circle before I write it down? So what is your value circle? So I've made a video on this in the past, so I will link that in the description so you can understand it more in depth, but I'm gonna go over it quickly here. So your value circle is essentially people who can help you achieve your goals. Why? Because they have information that can help you, right? And they come in three different types. So the first type is people who have achieved what you want and they can give you information that you can use. You might not have direct personal access to this person, but they're giving out information somewhere and they have established the fact that they've achieved what you want. They could be giving out the information on YouTube, podcast, somewhere in person. Just you have access to their information and they have achieved what you want. Obviously, and a really important thing, they value the same stuff as you, meaning they care about the same stuff as you. They care about being honest, having integrity, doing what you're supposed to be doing, not backstabbing people. You know what I'm saying? They value and have the same ethics as you, which is a good thing because that means the information that they're going to be giving is even more valuable, right? So the second type of person, and usually the most common for when you start out with this or start out with your value circle, is someone who wants to achieve the same thing as you and you can work with them. Because this is going to be most common because you're going to establish what you want to achieve and then you're going to look around your environment to find other people. And the reason why this is a good thing is because you guys can share experiences. And with these shared experiences, you guys can come to conclusions that you can use to serve you on the path to achieving your goals. And now the third type, but the best type is people who have achieved what you want and you can work with them. Imagine you want to be a plumber and your uncle is a plumber. Boom. Now you can go directly work with your uncle and he can directly give you information, beliefs and mindsets that you need to become a successful plumber. Right. So this is what makes the value circle so powerful because you can have as many of these types of people as possible. And the more, the better, because it's more information that you're going to be able to have access to to better serve you and your current situation. Right. And this is what makes the value circle so powerful. And you guys should definitely check out that video I made. But anyway. So those are the only types of people that are worth arguing with because then it's not even really an argument. It's more of a discussion because you want to understand. So you're going to ask questions about things that you're confused about. So it's worthwhile having a long term discussion with these people because now the outcome goes from, oh, an ego boost because you want an argument with someone who can't even help you achieve your goals to getting a conclusion that can help you become successful, which is what you really want. So. When you identify, if, the per if you ask yourself for whatever social situation or whenever you're around other people, does this person help me achieve my goals? No, do not argue. If, the, if yes, right, and by yes, I mean your value circle, right? That's what I mean. I mean your value circle, then argue. Obviously argue not in a bad way, but like, yes, you can argue here. This is where arguing with them and having a discussion is fine because these people can actually help you. You always want to do stuff that is going to help you become successful and not waste time doing stuff that is not going to help you become successful. Arguing with people who do not help you achieve your goals will not make you successful. I hope that's something that we all can agree on. Arguing with someone who does not help who does, has not achieved what you want cannot help you become successful meaning it is a waste of your time you should not want to be doing it at all right but you just want to make sure you're identified because at least for me this is something that's well not i guess it's fairly new it's something i've been practicing over the past year or like year two years and it's really helped me out a lot because it's helped me avoid so much unnecessary frustration because the thing is, it's very tempting. And this is why you're going to have to catch yourself a lot. Like, because you're not always going to be directly around the right people. I mean, socially in, in your current environment. And you're not going to be able to instantly get out of your current environment. So you might be stuck around people who can't help you achieve your goals. And they're going to say, say things that go directly against new shit that you've learned or new beliefs that you have that are going to help you become successful. And it's going to be really tempting to disagree with them but it is not worth it, my friend. Even if you're right, even if what you think makes sense, it's not worth it because people only change when they want to change. And just because you were changing does not mean other people are changing. It's very important for you to realize this. And even though you believe, oh my gosh, go tell them all these things, people will only change and you know they're trying to change when they are coming to you to ask you questions. If they see you doing something and it looks cool and they're not being spiteful about it, they're not like, ooh, why are you doing that? They're like, bro, how is this helping you? Like. 
clear, genuine curiosity. You're a human being. You'll be able to recognize it. Clear, genuine curiosity. That's how you know that someone who's trying to change. But most people are not like that. So the discussion and the arguing is really not worth it. And once again, I just want to preference. I mean, serious argument. I don't mean like unserious. You know, you guys are just doing like a bracket online and oh, this is the best cereal. You know what I'm saying? That's just some fun shit. I'm talking about serious like life goal achievement success type shit. Like, don't do that. It's not worth arguing with them. Only go argue and have these serious discussions with people who can actually help you because that will lead to beneficial outcomes. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, so that's pretty much my arguing mental exercise. Please give me feedback on this. Did this make sense? Do you believe now like, okay, I'm going to avoid having these serious conversations and discussions with people who can't help me achieve my goals. And a general rule of thumb, thumb for this is do they want to achieve what I want? If no, don't argue with them. And have they achieved what I want? Probably not. So don't argue with them. If they have nothing to do with your goals, it's not worth arguing with them. Right. So, yeah. So please give me feedback on this. Did this make sense? Was this simple enough to understand or did I need to go more in depth or did I need to lay off the depth? Do you feel like this is actionable? Like you're going to be able to use this to think through this mentally? And if you've journaled this, wrote, wrote this down, noted it down. Whatever way do you believe you can use this in your life currently to make sure you're not wasting your time and wasting your breath? Or you could say this was stupid. It was too hard to understand. You should have given more examples. You should have explained better. You should have just whatever else. Drop it all down in the comments because it all helps me become a better YouTuber so I can give you guys better mental exercises that better serve you guys so you guys can become successful and achieve all your goals. And if you liked it, please, please, please like the video, boost us in the algorithm so more guys can see this. Make sure that they're not wasting their words or their time on people who can't help them achieve their goals because you are here and I hope you would bring them here because they want to become extremely successful and they want to achieve their goals. So they should only be doing things that are helping them doing that. And that is having discussions and serious conversations and arguments with people who are in their value circle. And your value circle is people who can help you achieve your goals because they have information that could potentially serve you. And I guess with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next Mental Gym video. Peace.